Getting money in the hood, straight drop. You can get it if it's good, straight drop. Gang, gang, no sugar, straight drop. Straight drop. This that straight drop. Yeah, I'm back. Get the strap. I think I'm 50 cents. Glock 40 with the dick. That's that extended clip. King step a side stepper. Yeah, CYC. Been stepping before stepping was the Shiai. If I'm ever in your section, then it's DIE. Applying pressure. Bet these niggas gon' remember me. Ocean views, world news, blowing killer cap. Counting racks, talking to my plug. The GGI mob shit, and I'm back. <clears throat> and I'm gonna run another little ep, you know what I'm saying? We going in that 12 wall with it, my hood. Fushi and Saratoga, you know what I'm saying? About a ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all a little ep about Black Paul out the 12 wall, you know what I'm saying? He used to run with the big dog, Roshane, out the 12 wall. Who I said allegedly gave the fed 65 mil. So, you know, the big dog, you know what I'm saying? The big dog row. Like, dude was up, you dig? Like, for at least 20 summers, like, hard balling, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. So, bam, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had a right-hand man, you dig? Like, one of his understudies, you dig? Nigga named Black Paul out of our hood. Like, dude used to get, he used to get loaded and shit, be tripping out, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was a smoker, like. Used to flash out, you know how a nigga do, you know what I'm saying? Nigga go to, nigga go to jail, you dig, get clean, come home, you dig, act like they ain't about to get down no more, woo, woo, go right back to hitting that, yeah, you know what I'm saying, that pookie, you dig, so bam. I think dude used to get loaded with the Lucas too, if I ain't mistaken, you know what I'm saying, but I know he used to be sneaking and geeking a lot, so, you know, the big dog, super turnt, you know what I'm saying, like, but. Dude out the hood, you know what I'm saying? So when he come home, you know, the big dog trying to put him down. Like, you know, man, everybody around here turned up. Like all the big homies, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody around here turned, you know what I'm saying? So nigga can't have you around here looking like no anything, you know what I'm saying? And you hanging up under me, you dig? And I'm, I'm all the way there, you know what I'm saying? I'm arm and hammer boxed up. So bam. You know, they, you know, he go to hanging up under the big dog or whatever, you know what I'm saying? First, you know, you know how it be, you know what I'm saying? I guess nigga testing the waters with him, you dig? Seeing if he gonna, you know, fold and go back to what he was doing, you dig? Resort back to his old ways or if he knew and improved, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he used to start off with, I guess, like store runs and shit like that. Shit that nigga needed done. Nigga sending him, you know, to make plays and shit, make little drop offs and, and do this and do that, you know what I'm saying? So... I guess everything checked out on that level, you know what I'm saying? To where a nigga went to bringing him around the big shit, you know what I'm saying? Showing him the rope, showing him this, showing him that, you know what I'm saying? You know how I go, you know? Nigga trying to put him all the way down, so... Like, the shit had them went left, you know what I'm saying? And I guess dude went to getting besides himself, you know what I'm saying? And got greedy, you know, on some smoker shit, you dig? And, you know, boy OD, bro. So bam, long live busy though, man. So bam, you know what I'm saying? And long live Black Paul, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I guess you know he went to getting in it, getting on some smoker shit in his smoker ways, you know what I'm saying? And called himself back down his dude, you dig? And hitting his big dog, got a half a ticket, you know what I'm saying? And shooting to the roof, you dig? Like, I ain't gonna lie, you dig? A nigga, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't turned down. He wasn't on no smoker shit. He probably was sneaking and geeking though. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure after he did that, you feel me? That karma and shit was fucking with him. So he probably was doing a little something here and there. You never know. But he probably wasn't. You know what I'm saying? He probably was high off that money. Off that half a ticket he just hit for. You dig? So bam. You know, nigga stopped hanging in the hood or whatever. He started thugging in the yo. Front of town. Excuse me. So, um... You know, it was a little beef going on, you know what I'm saying, between him and the big homie, you know what I'm saying? Really, at this time, it's like, you know, it's some beef going on between what he done started hanging at, you know, front of town and the yo and my little section, you know what I'm saying? Some shit going on with the big homie. They had a lot of shit going on at this time. But anyway, he done hit for the half a tick, so they used to be having these DJs, you know, I'm going to speak on that too, but they used to be having these DJs on for rep. 
in front of Juvenile on um, Grandma House, you know what I'm saying? Or his mom or one of the two, you know what I'm saying? I really think it was his grandma, though, if I ain't mistaken, that stayed right next to the um to the project office on Ferret in between Louisiana and um the TC, right across the street from Flint Goodrich, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you remember them DJs by Juvenile, Grandma or his mama house on Ferret, get in the comment section. If you remember if that was his mama or his grandma, get in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? But I remember where the spot was at, you know what I'm saying? I know it was his mama or his grandma because... I used to be through there, you know what I'm saying? And I used to be by them DJs, so. Just at this time, D Juve got the soldier rag shit popping, you know, his CD popping, you feel me? So they having, they always having DJs right there on for rap. You did Juve and them throwing the DJs. Him and his cousin, um, Duck, I won't say this, I think that's his name. Damn, I don't want to mess the man's name up. I think that is his name, Duck, man. Long live Duck, though. But, um... They, we had, they got a DJ out there one day, you did that bit popping, you know what I'm saying? Like, them DJ used to be hard, so that bit lit we out there. So, bam, nigga come through. You hear me? Look, nigga come through in a black lightning truck. That when them lightning trucks first had hit. If you remember when them lightning trucks first hit the street, get in that comment section. Why I was on with it, brother? You already know, GGI mob shit. So, bam, nigga just see a lightning truck come up the street. You know how them bitches used to sound, look. And they got traffic, like, so when he hit that bitch, like, he, he like, you know, he hit the brakes, like, right behind the car. Like, that was, like, stopped in front of Juve, you know, mama shit or his grandma shit, because, like I said, they had traffic, so the cars was, you know, like, they be passing, they won't be nosy, and they nigga stunting and shit at the DJ, so everybody taking their time passing the crowd up. But they had a little space in between, you know, where the last car was at, and you know he him coming up for rest, so he hit that bitch. <laughs> you dig? Man, them bitches were fire. He hit that bitch look. <laughs> look, <laughs> that bitch stop and look boom. So that boy just looking like he feeling himself. He just hit for a half a ticket. Man, dude, feeling himself. Yeah, around 01, bro. Serious shit. That when they first hit the streets, bro. Look, he come doing that bitch. So bam, he's sitting, he's sitting behind the car like, like right in front of Juvie, grandma, his mom house. Sitting and he just sitting right there, you dig? Look, chilling. So he looking. You can see the presidential on his wrist. The platinum rocket. That bitch look rocky, rocky. That boy, like, he got two big chains on. You heard me? I'm talking about, look like he got, he probably had like a white low shirt on, a, a white designer shirt or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Man, you can see he feeling himself because he got that whole look on his face, like looking around like, like I'm that nigga. Like, like yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So, man, look, the cars cleared out. You know, he just still right there, though. Like, the little cars that was in front of him, all the little cars that moved out, but he's still sitting right there just looking around. He got the windows all the way down so you could clearly see in the car, you know what I'm saying? In the truck. Man, that nigga hit that bitch. <laughs> man, I'm talking about, listen, when he hit that bitch, that bitch shot up for red. He lost control of that bitch. Now, at this time, the Brown Derby still open on for red in Louisiana. He lost control of that bitch. Get in the comment section if you remember where Dr. Brown office used to be at on Louisiana and Ferret, right across from the Brown Derby. On the right-hand side of the street, they had a little purple Chinese store in between Robinson and Ferret. You know what I'm saying? It was a little small store. Red Ellerinum used to stay right next door to this store. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't speak on this yesterday, brother. So, bam. He, um... He hit that bit, bam. So when he hit that bit, he as he turning, like he at, at, like as as he get to the corner, as he hit the car, he get to the corner. They got the neutral ground to meet him because he on Louisiana. So the cars go this way and this way. Nigga hit the neutral ground or whatever you did. Went way across the street in the Chinese store. You know what I'm saying? Like he shook that bitch back though. You dig and and dipped out. You dig, but. You know that shit up. That, that shit was crazy though, you dig? Cause that shit, that that shit really was crazy, bro. You dig? Like nigga really hit his his right hand man for a half a tick. Then balled out off it. You heard me? But you know how that shit ended. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody won at the end of the day. Like a nigga say the streets won. You know what I'm saying? Cause fuck homie in jail. You dig? Been in the feds for a minute and he dead. You know what I'm saying? Homie who hit for the t half a tick, long live Paul, you know what I'm saying? Long live Black Paul and free that bureau shame, man. You know what I'm saying? Slum 1200 GGI mob shit.
later, just a few months after I'm still chasing these ghosts like that dude on Casper Ben Frank, Andrew Jack, Tommy J Nigga try and stack these chips like Frito-Lay Gotta get it, we the next to blow And any nigga disrespect, he be the next to go It's my life or no life till they bury me I bet this gang gang shit be the death of me All I know is us, all I know is win All I know is hustle, all I know is get it in all I know is hustle, all I know is win All I know is hustle, all I know is get it in All I know is hustle, all I know is win All I know is hustle, all I know is get it in All I know is hustle, all I know is win All I know is hustle, all I know is get it in